Miss Cookie, and welcome to the start of Tuesday Talks. I'm really excited about this so that we can share a word of God, we can share a word of encouragement, whatever God, God places on my heart, your heart. If you would like to share on Tuesday Talks, just let me know, and I would be happy to have you um, be a part of this. Um, as I say all the time, it's not about me, it's about us, and it's about us serving God, right? So whatever God puts on your heart, give me a call, let me know. You know where to reach me, right? All right, today I want to share Romans 8.32. It says, He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also, along with him, graciously give us all things? You know, God is so good and he's so great that um, he gave his son up for us. That is just remarkable when you think about, think about, um, I think about my own children, my own children who are blameless and who have committed sins, who have done many wrongs. But I love my children and I would not sacrifice their lives for any of you. And I love you guys a lot a lot. But God, who had a son, his son, who walked the earth, the only man to ever walk this earth, blameless, sinless. God gave him up. He sacrificed his son for each one of us so that we can live eternally with him. That's amazing. That is a lot of love. None of us can equal that amount of love for anybody. You know, Sometimes I know you may think, well, salvation is for everybody else, or I'm not good enough for God, or I'm not, I'm not unworthy enough, but God says you are. God is willing to forgive any sin that we ever committed. He loves us. He just, he wants us. He loves us so much. He wants us to spend eternity with him. So if you think that, God won't forgive you. I want you to look at this scripture. I want you to look at Romans. I want you to just pray. I want you to have that relationship, that one-on-one -on -one relationship with God where you can know and understand. Ask him to talk to you and show you and tell you. He, he made a huge commitment by sacrificing his son for you. You can read all about it right here. It's a beautiful, beautiful, this Bible is a love letter to us. And it is so wonderful to read. It makes you feel good inside just knowing how much you're loved. Wow, God's amazing. All right, you guys, let me pray. Heavenly Father, I just thank you for cultivate. God, I thank you for the love that you have for each and every one of us. God, I thank you for sacrificing your son to die on the cross so that we can have eternity with you. God, we love you so much. God, I love you so much. I love you and I thank you for cultivate. I thank you for allowing us the opportunity to be able to worship you, to praise you, to give you thanks, praise, and glory. God, I ask you to be with each of us, God. I ask you to help each of us to understand and know the love that you have for us, the commitment that you have for us, and help us, God, be able to understand your word and knowing that you love us and spending time in your word. Help us to understand that spending time in your word helps us know how much you care about us and the great gifts that you have for us, which is a gift of salvation. God, I just ask you to be with each one of us as some go back to school during this next week, some who have already started back to in-person school, and those that are remaining online. God, these have been trying times, God, but just help us to know and understand and realize that you have been with us through it all. God, I thank you for being God all by yourself, 
for being amazing and almighty. God, we give all our problems, our worries, our cares, God, we leave it with you so that we can live in hope, in love, and in knowing that you are with us. This and all things we pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. All right, you guys. As always, keep me in your prayers because you are always